Hey, Sister Melissa. Stop. That's We're her bodyguards. Oh, it's okay, guys. It's just my nephew Elias. Thank you for protecting me, though. Jesus. Were my bodyguards really cute? Now, they weren't mean bodyguards. They were just trying to protect me. And that's going to be in our lesson for today. We're talking about God's angels protect us. Do you hear that? Sounds like somebody else needs some protecting right now. So strap in and get ready for our lesson today. <laughs> that I do, you have to repeat, and then I keep adding more things on, and you have to remember. So it's kind of like a memory game. So we're going to get started. So make sure you got plenty of room, spread out from your brothers and sisters, and make sure you don't knock anything over. And we're going to get started, okay? So make sure you watch very closely. Are you ready? You snap? Yep. Just one time, both hands. Let's try it again. Now we're gonna add something else, and you have to remember to keep doing it after I do it. Do that at home. All right, I'm gonna move quickly. Let's see if you can keep up. Good job. Okay. You got it? Let's go. 
Kids Church, now it is time for our object lesson. This morning, it is very important to learn our PowerPoint that tells us God's angels protect me. Let's say it together. God's angels protect me. That is a great PowerPoint to know, but it is important to believe it. All right, what I want to show you guys right now is a picture of a turtle. Look, a picture of a turtle. Strange request, right? Yeah. So my question is, how many of you have touched a turtle before? How does it feel? That's right, it feels hard. And I'm going to tell you why it feels hard. The shell is so hard because it protects the turtle from other animals that want to eat it. Whenever an animal tries to hurt the turtle, he just pulls his head and arms and legs into the shell. It doesn't matter how hard that animal will try and try to bite, it can't get through that shell with its teeth or claws. This shell is a great source for protection that God made specifically for these animals. The shell reminds me of one of God's promises in Psalms 91 verse 11 that tells us that God will command his angels to protect you wherever you go. God's angels protect us like that shell protects the turtle. The devil is like a wild animal that wants to hurt and destroy us. We shouldn't be afraid because if we are the children, if we are children of God, then he has his angels looking after us. Remember, if you're scared of the dark, God's angels protect are protecting you. Next time you're afraid to fly on an airplane, don't forget that God's angels are there with you too. Wherever you are, know that God's angels are there too. This time, I want everyone to say the PowerPoint together. All right, we're going to say it in three seconds. Three, two, one. God's angels protect me. You and 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 you. All of you. God's angels protect you. Get it? All right. Good evening. Good afternoon, Super Kids Church. I am here today to bring us our memory verse. Yay! I love memory verse. So our memory verse today comes from Psalms 91, verse 11, and it says, God will command his angels to protect you wherever you go. All right, and that is in the NLT version. And today what we're going to do to learn a memory verse, because it's very important to learn the word of God, we are going to do flashcards. And so I am going to pull out a flashcard and then I'll just have you guys repeat it. All right. All right, the first one is God will. So God will. All right, God will. All right, say with me. One, two, three. God will. All right. Command his angels. We're going to do two this time. Command his angels. I think it's backwards. Command his angels. There we go. All right, so we have God will command his angels. All right, let's do this part. Command his angels. All right, say with me in three seconds. One, two, three. Command his angels. All right, let's put that all together. God will command his angels. Okay, what's after that? To protect you. To protect you wherever you go. All right, let's do this part um, three times. Let's say it three times just to make sure that we have it. All right, to protect you wherever you go. All right, let's say it again. One, two, three. To protect you wherever you go. All right, one last time. One, two, three. To protect you wherever you go. All right, and where is it found? Psalms 91, verse 11. All right, say it with me. One, two, three. Psalms 91, verse 11. All right, now it's time to put it all together and know our verse. So it is God will command his angels to protect you wherever you go and it's found in psalms 91 verse 11 all right let's say it all together on the exact same time in three two one god will command his angels to protect you wherever you go psalms 91 verse 11 good job welcome to i no Angels! With your host, Sister Sarah! I am so excited because I know so much about angels. Now let's test my knowledge. Yeah! Okay, question right. number one. Bring it on. 
Angels are not real. They're fairy tale characters. True or false? The answer is false. Angels are real. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I always knew they were real. All right. Question number two. God created the angels. True or false? True. That is correct. Angels are created beings made by God. Yes. I knew it. I always knew it. I always knew it. Question number three. When Christians die and go to heaven, they become angels. True or false? False! That is correct. Yes! Remember? I knew I wasn't going to be an angel when I died. Remember how we just said that God created angels? Angels are angels and people are people. When people mm -hmm. go to heaven, they will not be angels. Question number four. All angels do is spend time singing and playing harps. True or false? Ooh. Oh. False! That's correct. While angels do worship God in heaven, they do much more. Yes! Alright, bring it on. Bring it on. Question number five. We should pray to angels. True or false? Ooh. False! We only pray, pray to Jesus! That's correct. Yes! 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 Any more questions? Any more? Am I the winner? Yeah. Am I the winner? There's some more. Okay, okay. Bring it on. Bring Question it on. Question six. Angels are stronger than human beings. True or false? True! That's true. Yes! Yes! I knew they were stronger. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. The Bible teaches us that angels are stronger than we are. I knew it. Question seven. You can always recognize angels because they have halos over their heads. True or false? Oh, I saw one one time and, oh man, he didn't have a halo. False! That is correct. Yes, I knew it. I knew I wasn't the crazy. The Bible does not say that angels have halos. Mm -hmm, Question mm -hmm. number eight. Mm -hmm. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. There are many, many, many angels. True or false? Mm, true. That's correct. Yes. Says there are multitudes of angels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Question number nine. Hallelujah. When an angel dies, God replaces him with another angel. True or false? False. That is correct. Yes. Oh man, I wasn't sure about that one, but I just I, I, I knew I was right. Angels never die. They are eternal spirit beings. Question 10 and the last question of this quiz. God sends angels to protect and assist human beings here on earth. True or false? True! That is correct. Yes! No! No! Angels! I no! Angels! Hi! No! Angels! Let's go ahead and pray and ask God to be with us as we go throughout our week. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this class. We thank you for all the students that we have. We pray, God, that you would bless us, that you would help us, and that you would keep us from temptation. In Jesus' name, Amen.